Hello, I'm Keith Ford, and welcome to another edition of From the Vault. In 1949, the U.S. Army put out a request for handguns to replace the 1911s and the 1903 pistols that were being used by officers. The requirements were that it would be a 9mm, a lightweight frame, and no more than 7 inches. So Colt's submission to that request was this little handgun right here, the Colt Commander. Now, this is kind of a new thing for Colt because this is an all-aluminum frame right here, a shorter slide, and it's a fairly lightweight gun. Now, the competitor to this was the Smith & Wesson Model 39. Now, ended up, they really didn't go with either one of these guns, but it was still kind of cool that this competition or the request is what brought this gun about. Now, the Colt Commander was made in 45 ACP, 9 millimeter, and this one right here, 38 Super. This one is a 1951 production gun. This is a very early one. And it's really got some cool provenance on this is that it was lettered to from Colt to an officer in the 441st CIC Counterintelligence Corps who was in Korea. They were having some issues and needing a little bit more firepower and the 38 Super was seems to be pretty common or fairly used with that group because this is the third one that I've seen lettered to the 40, 441st CIC. So overall, this is a pretty cool little piece of history right here. Now these have the original what they call coat wood grips. These are plastic grips, and if you ever take these off, do not leave them off the gun very long because they will shrink up and you won't get them back on. And since this has an aluminum frame, the life of this frame is changing the recoil spring out. And because if you don't do that, you'll end up cracking the frame. I've seen that happen quite a bit on a lot of these older guns. Now, around 1969, I believe, 1970, Colt went to an all-steel commander. But for the first several years, these were aluminum frames, really light, really nice little carry guns. And commander's still in production and has been running for a long time. Now, one thing about the early guns, especially Colt 1911s, <clears throat> is you'll see something that looks a little odd and it's the frame or not the frame but the slide slide will have kind of a purplish cast to it whenever i bought this gun the guy said yeah it's been reblued it's been messed with it's like okay yeah whatever well the thing is is you have to understand that a lot of these earlier colt 1911s or post-war colt 1911s the metal content had some nickel in it a little higher than normal and these slides will turn purple I mean, it's just one of those things that happens, and a lot of people think that they have been reblued, but they haven't. This is a premier example of a 1950s, early 1950s Colt Commander, and you'll see them in a, with a slightly purple tint. It's not been reblued; it's just the, I guess, patina is what you would call it. But I love this gun, and I love shooting it, and because that's what it was meant to be made for. And the history behind it just makes it that much more special to me. So I know that there's a lot of Colt 1911 guys out there. Tell us your experience with them. And while you're at it, be sure and smash that like and subscribe button. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, be sure and drop us a line. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault.